funny and today is gonna be a massive Sephora hurl and also a little bit of online shopping drama. Just in case you guys don't want to hear me rant and complain, I'm gonna go ahead and put the little uh, Sephora refund rant. I guess I can't shop on Sephora.com. I don't know what's up with that. We're, we're gonna cover that story at the end because I know some of you guys probably just wanna see what's new at Sephora. You don't wanna hear me rant and rave like a lunatic. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what is in these two bags from Sephora. I got some exciting products. Very first thing that I got, and this is actually two different Sephora shopping trips. I went to two different Sephoras. So one Sephora I went to, I was very happy to see that they started carrying La Mer. And I recently got into using their moisturizer because they came out with a new gel. It's almost like the Belief Water Balm, I think is what it's called. I love when moisturizers are kind of like a water-based gel feeling. Um, so I got into that. I've really been loving it. And so I decided I wanted to try more products from La Mer. So this is a moisturizing matte lotion and I love how La Mer products always say that they are formulated with a broth. Makes me feel like I'm putting chicken soup on my face. Every product I have ever gotten from La Mer does say like formulated with our signature broth. I was very intrigued by the word matte. It says ultra weightless luxurious lotion with a fresh soft matte finish. Balances moisture, helps heal dryness, and softens the look of age and pores for a healthy and refined, beautifully balanced complexion. So I will just say the packaging is deluxe. It has like a nice weighted glassy feel. It kind of has like that matte feeling on the outside of the bottle. If, if matte glass makes any sense, does that make any sense? Ew, look at that. As usual with me and my skincare products, there is nothing to swatch, but I'm gonna swatch some lotion anyway. Ooh, dissolves into the skin like butter. Now, I'm not reading the word broth on here, so I'm a little bit distressed but I'm gonna pretend that it has the signature La Mer broth inside. Rub that chicken soup all over my skin. Up next is a new foundation from Giorgio Armani, and this is called the Second Skin Makeup Face Fabric. I bought it because it's called Face Fabric. That sounds awkward, that sounds strange, that sounds like something I want in my life. They really do get me with the packaging and the names. The packaging is pretty bland on... That was a miss. Uh, the packaging is pretty bland. Like, I do refer to this as old lady makeup. Is that insulting? I don't know. I don't mean for it to be insulting. I am 99 years old myself. I'm a vampire. I'm defying life and death every day. So I don't know, that doesn't that doesn't offend me. But do, do you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like Estee Lauder. I feel like it doesn't have... <sighs> Does that make any sense? Let's swatch this. Let's see what face fabric feels like. I just kind of wish, I don't know, but it is high end. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna bend to my whim. They don't care what I say. But I do wish that they would offer like a hipper, more youthful looking uh, packaged product. But they're they're not having any problems selling stuff, I'm sure. Ew, look at that. Now, of course, I am also now layering this over the La Mer product. So I feel like that's why it feels like deluxe. And it looks deluxe. Chicken McSpicy deluxe. But it does have a very nice feel to it. Ew, it is hot. I've got to take this jacket off. We are rolling in the deep heat of Texas already, you guys. And I am dumbfounded that parts of the country, it's still snowing, snowing. It's been like 85 degrees here, at least for like the past month. Deep in the heart of Texas. So that's the way I like it. I wouldn't have it any other way. I hate the cold. I don't want that. Up next is a sort of smelly, intriguingly smelly smelling soap. And I kind of got this for Dogman. I feel like he likes these like dark, sophisticated soaps. So this is from Corez and it is the Black Pine Detoxifying Mineral Bar for all skin types. And it's a special black soap in a special little metal tin. Look at that, it's so deluxe, hello. Up in there. Oh my gosh, there's a pamphlet. 
that we're not gonna read. So here is the black soap and it smells so nice. I also like the word detoxifying. Like if I could just wash all of the cheeseburgers and chicken nuggets out of my skin with this magical black bar of soap, Oh, I would welcome that. And it, it, it is just like very differently smelling. It smells very earthy, like almost as if it's made of dirt, which is maybe not a resounding selling, like come get your dirt soap. But for some reason, I like that kind of thing. Dog man likes that kind of thing. We're a strange couple. We're meant for each other. Up next, I got this thing because it's cute. I didn't really need it, but I really, really wanted it. It is a Sephora Give Me Some Glitter Mini Brush Set. And I do not know why. I love the look of glitter. And also, it terrifies me, especially to put anywhere near my eye holes. I swear all the time I see these horror stories on Instagram where they show me all these like medical posts and things that can go wrong. And I, I I do see a lot of unfortunate eyeball things having with which to do with glitter and uh oh but look the glitter is not rubbing off safe for the eyes Maybe, yet yeah, still slightly abrasive. These are the brushes that come with it. I honestly just bought it for the tube. Is that ridiculous? I do like Sephora makeup brushes. I have bought several in the past. I love their charcoal brushes. These are very cute. It looks like you get three eye and one face. Look at this little container. It's beautiful. It's like dark, dark star glitter. Um, oh my god! Why? Why? Why the silica gel packet? Why are these everywhere? I would rather have rats. I would rather have moist rat covered products than silica gel packets. Please get it away from me. But look at this! Isn't it cute? It's kind of impractical because it's so tiny. I kind of thought it was a keychain also. I don't know. I like it. Let's be friends. Moving along. We still have a lot of stuff to look at. We have stickers. <gasps> yes. I forgot I went to Half Price Books with my friend that day. Do you guys have a Half Price Books where you're at? It's kind of like a magical place to buy used books. And there's a little worm mascot and he's a little worm. He's a puppet. Everything I love in the world. Worms and puppets. Capture Youth. I do believe that this is a spanking new line from Dior. They have all these little glass bottles with little droplets in it and it all convinces you that you're gonna have a completely different life and a completely different face. You're gonna apply these once and everybody's gonna say, wow, <laughs> what did you do? But like in a good way. I got these because it is called the Plump Filler. Age Delay Plumping Serum. Am I having a midlife crisis? I also like on the back of the package where it just screams at you, the time is now. So there's a package for a package. All right, where is my special little box cutter? I'm just gonna rip it like a heathen. I shouldn't be doing this. I did it anyway. It survived. <laughs> Thank goodness, because it's in a glass bottle. What's wrong with my mind? I'm a heathen. Ooh, I've never seen this before. Look at that. It's a squeezy dropper, but it's metallic. It's silver. Look at that. So um, I threw the box. So I don't even know what this is for. It's all in French. The new Plump Filler Serum is the first targeted plumping and rehydrating serum to instantly and effectively help act on lack of substance for a visible and tangible skin transformation. I feel like that's kind of insulting. <laughs> I have a lot of substance, Dior. I'll have you know. Ooh, look at that. I also liked it because it looked a little milky. Do you see that? I want to be like those Instagram girls that like, ugh, like with the liquid all over their face and then it seems like a, a really excessive amount. Like, yeah, probably don't need that much. Um, and then they just rub it all over their skin. Can I do that? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I'm going to do that. And it feels very lightweight. It feels very nice. And... It has that, ooh, no, never mind. It's different. I thought when I tested it in the store that it had the signature Dior skincare scent, but it doesn't. This is kind of different. Moving along, that was everything in that little bag. I got a free gift because I renewed my VIB Rouge membership. And can I have my little micro rant about VIB Rouge and all the points and everything else? Every year I feel like they do less VIB Rouge events, true or false. Maybe not if you live somewhere cool and metropolitan like New York or Los Angeles. Maybe then they just have events all the time. 
but not in Houston. We don't get anything, uh, except for hurricanes. But I was able to get this free little brush today for renewing my VIB Rouge membership. Once again, Sephora brushes, very cute, very high quality. I do wish that they would let us just do more effective things with our VIB Rouge points, like Ulta. They kind of let you do like cash back, cash credit towards your purchases. At Sephora, they know that they've got you, so they don't care. They don't need to reward you. You're going to be shopping there anyway. All right, that was my little sarcastic rant. Let's move along. Next thing that I got is the Sephora Avocado Hand Mask. Moving along, I got these things because I'm obsessed with drops. These are from Kula. It's a brand new product. And Kula does mostly skincare, sunscreen kind of products, which is exactly what this is. Also, check out that purple packaging. It's so beautiful. These are the 70% plus. So more than 70% organic, full spectrum, 360 sun silk drops. Once again, they got me with the packaging. They got me with the name, sun silk. What does that mean? I don't know, but I like it. These are for indoor, outdoor, environmental, and digital protection. Because I need the digital protection. I feel like my skin gets a lot of digital damage. I see more digital than I do see the sun. So you can use these in your moisturizer. You can use these in your foundation. You can mix them in anything. You can wear them alone. I thought that that was a pretty cool prospect. Thank you, Kula. It's pretty cool. Let me actually open the box so you can see. Ooh, it's like a little elevator. <gasps> oh! I like it. It's not coming out. It's not coming out. Would you like to join us? Thank you. Why do I love packaging with droppers? I shouldn't be that fascinated with pushing a button or squeezing a little thing, but here I am, the village idiot. Yes, it also just straight up looks like milk. Look at that. Um, so once again, nothing to swatch, nothing to show here. It is very thin. And you really don't feel it. It does have a little bit of a citrusy, sunscreeny kind of smell. I generally like that scent, so no complaints from me. Uh, it will be kind of interesting to test this and see if we get flashback, because I do know that that is often a problem with SPF products, is if you use a flash, then your whole face lights up like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You can guide Santa's sleigh. Uh, maybe this has something in it, though, that prevents that. I don't know. It says, from farm to face, vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, plant protection, antioxidant and rich, broad, spectrum, SPF 30. I'm jazzed. Next, I got something so strange that I'm ready for it. It is from IGK, and this is a hair product, and it's called Swipe Up. Very cute. How many times a day do I say that phrase all across social media? These are charcoal dry shampoo hair blotting tissues. What does that even mean? I don't know. Let's find out together. They look like little wet wipes or little alcohol sanitization pads. There we go. Since they're charcoal, oh, they're gonna be black. Quick, guess down below. Yes, no, black, black or not. No, they're not. Uh, they are chalky. Very chalky looking. Oh, <gasps> is there charcoal yet? Look at this. Ugh! I'm like kind of shaking it and like ugh, the powder is dispersing. Do you see that? It's actually just like a small envelope full of dry shampoo. They have a light scent to them, which I like. All right, let's just swipe up. What's happening here? Is anything happening? My hair is actually clean for once, so I don't know how much we would be able to tell. But I'm glad that it's not leaving like a ton of white residue on my face and my hair, because that might be insane. Although I do love the look of powdered wigs. I don't know, these things are kind of crazy and kind of innovative, and I like them. Like if you're traveling or you just want to shove some in your purse for quick hair emergencies. Up next, I have the new Sephora Contour Blush Kit in Spice Market. And uh, I have been dying for an orange blush. 
I don't know why. Uh, so I feel like that is why I saw this online in the new section and I was like, ew, it's new. It's got an orange blush. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and do some swatches. It looks so gorgeous, but I just shoved my fingers in it. Ew, intense pigmentation. Why don't I know how to swatch? Can you guys see anything that's going on right now in this small forearm section? But look at that, they're dark. They're spicy. I like them. I also got, I wore this already. I wore this today. I thought that they finally came out with a Sauvage for ladies because it says Eau de Parfum now. It said new Eau de Parfum. I thought the Parfum was for the ladies and the Cologne was for the men. So I got this for myself. But um, Dogman wears this and I love the scent on him. I don't know. I do love men's fragrances oftentimes more than ladies fragrances. I do like the dark Cologne scents. So I don't know. I'm not complaining. It is a little bit spicy. I think it's even a little bit spicier than the Cologne. So I don't know. Smell it first. I'm trying it out for the first time today. And so far I'm okay with it. But a smell like a man. The next product I had to have because forever I've been wanting to do the I followed blanks makeup tutorial and to do that video I had to have this product and it's so hard to find okay it's like finding a needle in a haystack so on my fourth different Sephora location I finally found it it is the Kevin Kwan Prism Magic Highlighting Trio for face eyes and lips here we are look at this gold packaging ooh la la I kind of don't even want to swatch it because I want to save it for the video so I'm just going to show you guys what it looks looks like today and you have to tune into that other video to actually see how it looks on my face. Is that cruel and unusual punishment? So it has three different products in here and I do think that the pricing was a little bit crispy for three highlighting shades but they do look very pretty. Ooh, they look a little chunky. Are you guys seeing that? Are you guys seeing the chunk? I'm excited to test them out. Up next we have a primer which is from peter thomas roth clinical skincare and it's called skin to die for and i would prefer to not die thank you very much peter thomas roth this is the no filter mattifying primer and complexion perfecter and they do get me with the no filter kind of thing because i am ingrained with social media in every core of my body, every fiber of my being. I just love phrases like hashtag no filter, swipe up, your whole life is social media, isn't it? Oh, that was elegant. Scoops. Scoops, yes, 10 out of 10 for throwing things out of a package and catching them with my other hand. It's a skill, let me tell you. Also, I love the purple packaging. Look at that. It's like lavender, but also metallic. Are you impressed? Let's squeeze a little bit out. There is nothing to swatch here, ladies and gentlemen, because it's a primer. And it came out a little bit watery? Ew. Okay, I'm gonna have to shake it up. <sighs> but I did swatch it in the store, and I liked what I saw. Up next is another primer. Why do I love primers so much? This is my third primer for this haul video. I am insane. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, filter. And once again, it is a soft matte long wear foundation. What? These companies lately confusing me with the word filter, foundation, primer. Um, I have not gotten the Fenty foundations yet. I almost bought one today. I almost bought the stick one because you guys know I'm a sucker for stick foundations. I love it so much, but I didn't get it. I don't know why. I got this instead. I'm running out of places to swatch invisible products that don't need to be swatched. It kind of does have a little bit of a pigment to Did I accidentally buy foundation? I did. My gosh, I thought that this was a primer. I swear I swatched it in the store. This is a foundation, surprise. I bought a foundation, I just squirted it all over my shoulder. Up next, I got another fragrance. It's kind of a fragrance. I'm not 100% sure what this is that I bought or why I wanted it so much, or I, I don't understand what's happening here. It is by Replica, which I think is Maison Margiela. I'm not saying that right. So there are two of these things, which once again, it's called a filter. So what was I thinking of? Instagram please leave. You are supposed to be able to layer this with other fragrances. I think technically they say to layer it with their other fragrances, but it is supposed to boost your fragrance and make it zesty with solar notes. So I don't know, they had one 
that was called like soft something I don't know and then they had this one which is called glow so I think one is supposed to make your fragrance like more soft which I associate with last for less amount of time, which I don't really understand. Like, why, why would you want that? <laughs> and then this one, which is called Glow, which I just thought would make me even smellier. So I opted for that option. Look at that. Ooh, and it's got like some string wrapped around it and some red lipstick, which I hope is mine. Did somebody buy this and return it? No, because it was wrapped with plastic, so. I smell nothing. Let's see if I can spray it and smell, but it just smells like, oh gosh, that's like a, a vigorous stream. Kind of smells like the beach, like sunscreen. I don't know. I've got Sauvage on, so let's see if I can be, oh, that just went right in my hair, like a moist jet stream. I don't know if I'm welcoming this or not. Oh, now I'm just a wet Sauvage. Oh, it's like oily. <laughs> this might be going right back where it came from. This is kind of more like an oil. Like I feel like I'm just dousing my flesh with beach oil and now I'm shiny and it's rubbing away my foundation. <laughs> I have problems. I kind of don't, I don't, I don't know. I like the smell, but I don't like the feel. I'm oily. I'm oily now. Up next we have this crazy thing, which I kind of want to give it a video all its own. Test it out. Mano y mano. It sounds very, very strange. It is a vinyl mascara from Yves Saint Laurent. What does vinyl mean? Also, why did I buy the white one? Just very odd choices that I made today. Here is what it is. It looks like a lip gloss. Doesn't at all look like a mascara. Um, and it just looks, I don't know, just so weird. I really don't know why I chose white. It's like I was making like a seventh grade decision in my head. I don't know if, you, if I told you guys this before, but when I was like in the seventh grade, for, for a hair's breadth of a minute, I kind of wanted to look like Queen Elizabeth. And I mean like the really dead one, like the, the first one that there ever was. All white, white everything. I wore white lip gloss, white mascara, white face powder, just white everything. I don't like, was I having a flashback? I don't know. I also got two lipsticks, one from Sephora, one from Fenty Beauty. And this was an interesting choice for me because I bought the sort of lavender bluish shade called Yadig. And I really like the Fenty packaging for the lipsticks. It is like a really skinny lipstick. It reminds me a lot of the NARS lipstick which look pretty much the same um, product wise, like not the exterior packaging, but this kind of small, almost like chapstick size product. So I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. It is really pretty. I swatched a ton of Fenty lipsticks in the store today and I really loved them all. They were all such a beautiful matte but not too chalky. They were all really pigmented. They had a green one, which I thought was really cool. This one, which I just bought on a limb. I thought it would be really fun. Then I really wanted the one that's called Something Freckles, but it was completely sold out. They said that that one is just selling out repeatedly. Then I got this crazy lipstick. Sephora just came out with a ton of their own lippies and the packaging is amazing. There was not one package that I didn't think looked super cool, but for some reason I had to have the green one. I think it's because I was thinking Swamp Family green lipstick. I feel like I've had a green lipstick before that I used to wear sometimes, but it's been a hot minute. I also think that these are quite affordable, like $8 and they're not completely matte to be honest. Well, I think that they have different finishes. I don't think that this one is completely matte, but they're called Lip Stories and this is the shade Cash Money and it is like a green, dark green money shade. All right, last 
product is the new Natasha Denona Duochrome Eye Top Coat. And there were a lot of tempting shades, but I got Burnt Terracotta slash green. So these do have some color shifting properties. Very high quality glass container. Yes, thank you very much. And you open it up and look at that. You've got this gorgeous pressed product. And let me do a little swatch for you guys. I feel like this is a product that kind of has to be used a little bit. And the more that it kind of gets your own oils infused in the product, as disgusting as that sounds, the prettier and prettier that it looks. But there it is. It does remind me a little bit of the ColourPop, um, not the pressed eyeshadows, but the kind of, what are, what are they called? Like power pigments or something like that. That is what this reminds me of. It has a lot of color shifting, which I unfortunately don't think is showing off in this light, but it does shift from like a terracotta color to a green, which I thought was very unique. Ooh, maybe I should put this and this together. Wouldn't that be fabulous? That's it for the haul. If you'd like to hear me complain a little bit, then please stay for the remainder of the video. And if not, then I love you guys and I will see y'all in the next video. Also, I'm gonna get off this rolling board. Also, I, I had the camera a little bit up higher, so I'm gonna sit a little bit lower. I don't know, it's giving me like the back pain. I don't know, I've been sitting on this wonderful 90s scooty board. I love it, but I think I'm kind of like, I don't know, I'm doing, I'm doing something strange that I shouldn't be doing and it's causing me physical pain. So, you guys, Ordering from Sephora.com is a freaking nightmare. And I tweeted about this the other day and you guys wanted an update. Y'all saw that Sephora did respond to me on Twitter and a lot of you guys were DMing me and messaging me and all kinds of stuff like that. And you wanted a conclusion to the story. You wanted to know how it all panned out because what I tweeted the other day was, does anybody else have a problem with getting their order canceled every single time they order from Sephora.com? I think it's happened to me the last like four or five times that I've attempted to shop on Sephora online, which is frustrating because they have many items that I want that are online only. And what was really promulgating this order was two new Moschino Moschino fragrances. I love the Fresh perfume, which came out, I think, a year or so ago. It's the bottle that looks like Windex, and I've always loved that one. I think the packaging is really cute. And right now, they came out with two brand new ones. It's uh, called Fresh. Uh, well, the other one's called Fresh, but it's like pink now, so I think it's like Fresh Blossom. And then they have one in a solid gold bottle. And I don't know what that's about, but I'm curious enough to buy it, bring it home, smell it, and see what's up with it. So I was trying to order it, um, along with a lot of stuff you just saw in this haul and some other things that were online only that I couldn't find in store, blah, blah, blah. So I placed the order and I'm sitting there for like three or four days. And it's about the time when I'm thinking to myself, where is my Sephora order, right? Because I am VIB Rouge, which I do think means that I either get free shipping or expedited shipping or some, I don't know, some something with shipping. I'm supposed to be getting some benefit for being VIB Rouge. Where are my benefits, Sephora? Where are they? Um, so I don't know, I placed this big order and I, I was looking for it and then I went back and started digging through my emails and it turns out like the order had been canceled. I don't know. Went back into PayPal, it said the order was pending and like no refund from PayPal, no order is being shipped out. Um, at this point it had been like five to seven days and I'm just kind of like thinking to myself like it's just kind of like the money is in the twilight zone. Like my order is not coming. The money is not being refunded from PayPal. I did make that tweet. Sephora did reach out to me. Um, we had a little DM conversation. Their customer service was very friendly. They were very helpful. They went through, they supposedly fixed the problem. So now supposedly I should be allowed to shop online. They didn't really tell me what the specific issue was. Um, and then they went through and I guess just fully canceled it so that the money would come back to my PayPal account. It still took like two or three days to fully process the refund. I just feel like it's kind of annoying to always want to shop on Sephora.com, especially when there are so many online exclusives and then every single time for your order to get canceled. And I know that it must not just be me because a lot of you guys were tweeting that you had the same problem. 
And I guess overall maybe it's a good thing because they were saying it's just like security measures for your own protection. So I mean I guess it is always better that they would decline the charge than allow somebody to steal money from your account. I think it was just one of those like spur of the moment things where I just kind of felt like heated and irritated and so I just took to Twitter. Isn't that what Twitter is for? Uh, and so I don't know. Then you guys wanted an update to what happened to the story so it's not, I don't know, it's not really that dramatic. Uh, but I thought I would just let you guys know what happened. So thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also if you enjoyed today's video leave it a like and also don't forget if you actually want to know when I upload videos to this channel you gotta hit the bell. You have to subscribe and hit the bell. Also, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at GreyVanagirl. Same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!